Okay, dudes, oh, what is up? And it is finally here. That is right, the PC I have been waiting for, the PC I have been telling you guys all about. It has finally arrived. I've had it now probably for about four, maybe five days, just setting everything up. And dudes, it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Now, um, obviously you guys can see on the thumbnail, this PC did cost a lot of money. To be precise, it cost around about 7,000 pounds, but that does include the cost of getting it built by a company, plus on top of that with the warranty and the, the uh, windows and everything else in there. So really, if you was gonna build this PC yourself, you probably maybe be able to find the parts cheaper and build it yourself, but with the high-end components, I did not want to take that risk and build this just in case there was problems. But let's get right into it and I'm going to tell you guys exactly what is rocking and rolling in this bad boy. Okay, so for the case, what we have here is the Corsair Graphite 760T obviously in the white i was going for a black and white theme here and i just could not take my eyes off of this case it looks absolutely gorgeous guys okay so the motherboard the motherboard that we have running on all of this equipment here is the asus rog rampage edition 10 that is right dude this motherboard has all the bells and whistles this is like the top line of motherboards that you can find and it is it's probably complete overkill for what i need but hey i thought we might as well spend a little extra and just get the best motherboard out possible and this motherboard especially with the rgb lighting is absolutely awesome so you guys are probably wondering what process are we actually having here. We have the famous, the most expensive processor we can buy for at the moment for normal consumers. Me and you, what that means is here. We have an i7 6950X, that's right. 10 cores and 20 threads. This thing can multitask like a beast. And next to that, we have 64 gigabytes of RAM. Corsair's Vengeance LPX DDR4 in the white casing. It looks absolutely amazing in this build. Okay, so the graphics card. Now this is like creme de la creme here, guys. Creme, creme la de creme. That's what I should be saying, a little bit tongue-tied there. But yes, this here is the GTX Titan X Pascal version. This thing is an absolute beast, especially when it comes to rendering and anything like that. Even, it's not meant for gaming, but this thing can game like a beast, guys. It has like 3,500 and something CUDA cores, which is insane, absolutely insane. Okay, so for memory, boot drive, we actually have the uh, Samsung 950 Pro M2 SSD in a 512 gigabyte version. Also combined it with two one terabyte Evo SSDs from Samsung. And then on top of that, another two two terabyte Evos SSDs from Samsung as well, dudes. For me personally, I don't really like hard drive myself. So as you guys can see, the hard drive cages has been taken out just for the extra airflow in the case. And we just stuck with all SSDs in this case. That is one reason that the price really got bumped up on this build. I could have made it probably a lot cheaper by adding hard drives, but I just really didn't want to go for the hard drive look. And uh, it's just me being a little bit nitpicky, but um, yeah ssds is the way especially where they sit in this case i absolutely love the casings for the ssds in this case it's absolutely gorgeous okay so you guys can see all of the wiring here this is cable mod wiring absolutely awesome all in the white as you guys know i've said it a few times now already we're going for a black and white build so we had to get the white braided uh, cables from cable mod looks absolutely awesome i was gonna go with the bit phoenix alchemy cables 2.0 with the white connectors but they weren't in stock so we went with cable mod cable mod is probably uh 
I don't know which one is better to tell you honest to you. You guys can let me know in the comments below. But um, they didn't have the Bit Phoenix, so we went with cable mod anyway. That is what you guys can see there. Okay, so I get this question asked all the time. How do I record all of my gaming footage? And now this is exactly how I record it. Normally with the Elgato outside the case, but this time we got the Elgato Pro inside the PC bill. And this is exactly what you're seeing now. Super easy to record. You just put one plug right into it and it's straight on your screen, live playing. This thing is absolutely awesome awesome for recording your gameplay guys so you guys are probably what is powering all the power into this beast right here we actually went a little bit overkill on the power as well we've got the corsair ax 1200i yes this is complete overkill for what we've got in here but hey we might as well go for more power than we need right it's complete overkill so far why not add extra overkill into the build so what we have here that is cooling down all of the components in here, we went with obviously a uh, airflow case. I didn't really want a water block or anything in there just because I didn't really want to be changing water or anything like that in the build. So we went with airflow. As you guys can see, what we have cooling the processor down is the H. 115i from Corsair Extreme version. This thing is absolutely awesome. It actually holds uh, the 140 uh, fans on there. We've got the Corsair white LED versions on there as well. Uh, had to change them out for the originals. Didn't really like the, the originals. As you guys can see, we've actually got all of the uh, fans in there from Corsair uh, white LED versions as well. Had to make it all just uh, Corsair lights as well, dudes. And now as you guys can see, the beautiful lighting shining inside this case. We just went with a simple RGB lighting, obviously all set to white. I can set all different kind of colors, red, green, blue, but this is not going to make sense in this case. It's set to white, it's staying to white forever. That's how it's going to rock and roll. And uh, it just lights the case up absolutely beautiful, especially with that side window on there. This is the whole reason why I went with this case. The side window just catches your eye straight away. You can see everything inside the case. And it's got a nice little, just a faint tint on that window as well, which just makes it just... It just, it just sparkles in the eye of PC holders, guys. I just could not pass up on this case. Okay, so that about wraps it up for the PC finally that we actually got. It actually took about a month to actually get to us. I want to say a big massive thank you to UK Gaming Computers for actually building this for us. Absolutely awesome guys over there. It, it took about a, mo yeah, a month to build. We actually ordered it when the uh, GTX Titan X Pascal actually came out and it, it, was, it was killing me waiting a whole month for this build. But now it's here, it's absolutely worth it. The guys at UK Gaming Computers took their time. They made sure everything was working. They made sure it came to me with no problems and it's an absolute beast i still haven't named her just yet if you guys have any suggestions what we can name her let me know in the comments below i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys in the next episode dudes